Okay, ETS2 time. Let's go ahead and check this out. Pro coins discount this month. New skin for Volvo. Do you have a new skin for Volvo? I can download it. Uh, MX13. There was an update for it. So I don't have the old one anymore. Yeah, but we have this guy. Volvo FH. D13K sounds. Yes. Let's have a look at this one. Pandas workshop. We have new ones for the Volvo. We have Volvo Dutch style skin. Maybe not. Ah, it's not uploaded yet. I see. Okay. Uh, I think we'll stick with this one first then, though. I might have to fumble around and might be too much time. Check it out later. Because we still have to wait for this one. Loading simulator. I think it will have to recalculate. Or right, there you go. The Volvo construction for the ETS2 edition. Missing mod, MX-13 probably. Yeah. Oh, got a delivery date. Nice, when is it? WB means water block, right? So cool, Alex. Cannot wait for your build. Yours is over two weeks. That's a very good question. Mine is probably when the Volvo D13K sounds came out. That was my last ETS2 session. When was that? Was that two weeks as well? <laughs> Next Friday? Cool! Oh. And when that arrives, are you all good or are you still waiting on something? I also get this now, here in this profile. I'm not sure what's causing it. Even before the GPS calculation, I get stuck here in the middle bar. I think this is when it loads the trailers, maybe? I might have a trailer mod active that loads so many things. So it takes a long time here, and then it gets to the GPS, and then if there's a game update, then it recalculates. So it, it, when I load ETS2, it's like 10 minutes or something. <laughs> Still have to do the plumbing and some little stuff. So cool. Goodness, I've seen a video. I don't know much about it. I think the only one I've seen is from Was it from Jay's two cents? I guess in his videos one of his videos or some when he was like um, Bending the pipes and whatnot making it fit in the casing making sure that there's no leak and whatnot. Oh my goodness. That is intense 15 <laughs> The one you're using right now didn't you build that? My goodness, most patient man <laughs> I know of. You've been sitting on those new parts for quite some time, right? More than a year, I guess, except for the GPU. Ah, pre-build, I see, I see. Well, it served you well, huh? Cool. But it's time for a change. Your first build. Looking forward to it. Fell asleep, now it's still alive. I told you it takes some time here and then I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's it's reading a lot of stuff in the background. Fabricating all the things yourself. <laughs> Will it have a classic look as well, Alex? <laughs> 70s looking case. Okay, it now moved a bit. I don't know why. That's one of the things that puts me off here in ETS2. That's why I haven't played it in a while. The loading time is not the best. And now it's going to update the GPS, so we'll wait five more minutes. <laughs> Yikes. 
when you're using natural lux. <clears throat> Two hours later. The if new updated Volvo later. sounds. We should. When was it last updated? Because it released, right? And then it got an update. So I got that. But if there was another update after that, maybe I don't. Although I try to keep up with the, the update, so I should have it. Methinks. 101. Okay. If someone can check the mods list in the meantime and have a look at the version that's stated there. That's one of the reasons I maintain the mods list is for myself also. I try to keep the version number that I have in there just to make sure that when I'm checking versions, I know which one I have even without looking at the files directly. Thank you. Yeah, a few moments later is perfect here. It looks like this time, at least so far, you aren't getting the the two for one combo <laughs> updated okay thank you panda nice thanks art so all that's left is to wait for this guy <laughs> do you guys not have this the the middle bar loading i mean this gps loading i get and this happens mostly when there's a change right or when there's an update so that i can accept but the middle one takes so long not sure which mod is causing that Come on, game, hurry up. Yeah. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have started recording yet. Too late now. Takes a long time for you to in ETS2. Yeah, in ATS it's not like that. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's because of pro mods. Because Pro Mods has that extended loading for this navigation data, or you're probably not seeing it. Huh? Yeah, in my screen, I see content change detected, updating navigation data. Please wait. So, I'm, and we're in the GPS part now. And that's the part that when you have a big map mod or big map mods, the longer that navigation data updating takes. But the one before it, the one in the 50% mark, it's loading something else. It's not even multi-threading at that point, it's mostly just one thread doing all the work. And if I remember correctly in the past, it was loading some trailers, some other 3D models maybe. And it's just so slow. So I'm not sure what changed recently that uh, I get that now. Hmm. Buffer size, uh, not sure. Is it 30 or 50? The one recommended in Raw X. I just follow it. ETS2 map is a lot bigger. That's how it works with the GPS. Yes, I think so. But the one before that, the 50%, shouldn't be affected by the map. If I understand it correctly. If you tilt your screen. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's there, almost there. There we go, guys. We're here. You, right? Let's go for. Let's, let's go and save that, just in case the the GPS navigation didn't save. It should do that. All right. Let's go and look for a low boy. Do I have one? What do you call it here? Maybe it's a low bed in ETS2 in Europe. Check your log. Oh, my log will be pretty happy. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Krone Mega Liner. Maybe that's the one. Maybe it's incompatible. Maybe I have an old one. Napin. It might be my trailer accessories. My trailer mods, huh? Or not really, because that only happened when I opened the trailer manager. It's not really part of the loading. I'll have to look in the game log itself. Yeah, that's only when I opened this one. So all the uh, trailers loaded, and some of them are old already. So it's not the best. Uh, I think we'll have to buy a new trailer here. Let's just have a look what it's called. Do we even have one? I think these are the guys, right? The low loader. 
Yeah. Let's see if I have a low loader. Yeah, the missing trailer is the NA. So it's causing the red items. No, I don't have it. Okay, let's just do a freight market thing. Oh yes, and that's perfect because I, I don't want to get into own trailers at all in the in ETS2 because we still have that bug last time I checked. When you have the own trailer, you get the stutters. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see what we have here. Maybe we can find something in here. Volvo. Nothing. Anywhere? Um, hmm. Doesn't seem like we have it. We have to restart this or something? Low beds. It's not it. <laughs> Maybe you can call it Volvo. Let's see. Hey, thank you for the raid. Caves Gaming and viewers, thanks for joining. Caught us at not at the best time. We're kind of fumbling around, but uh, we are more than welcome to fumble around with us. <laughs> On the list. Uh, an email. Yes. Madrid, Lisbon. I'm not sure if this is new though. Or uh, I haven't checked my mail in a while. There we go. Cheer us up and chill. Sounds good, Canadian Moose. That sounds perfect. Thank you guys for joining. There you go, Capes. Am, am I saying it right? Is it Capes? Welcome to the stream, guys. The UA1 is new. Ukraine. Care of Roex, probably. It's awesome stuff. Thank you for joining. Alright, should we then... Let's have a look at the Vigal browser and see if we can find it there. No problem at all. Raid and run away. Enjoy your meeting. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Let's look for low bed. It is a low bed. No, one second. A low bed is different from a low loader, looks like. Yeah, it should be a low loader that we are looking for. Yeah, the Volvos are here. I think I just have to refresh my economy. Right, that means another loading screen. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the follow, Caves. New voices I introduced. Ah, hey, Colimator. Yeah, probably not a video, but the, the steps is the best I can offer. The steps in the link. Because those are step by step already. And it's tricky, that's true. It's not for everyone. Yeah, it's, and it's tricky to maintain as well. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do a force economy reset. G force echo one, and then we'll, re we'll reload the game and wait again. <laughs> Doing good, moose. Enjoying Wyoming tons. We just finished one load. Oh, that was fast. Hey, I like it. That's the way I like it. Okay. We just finished the load in Wyoming and we hopped on now to ETS2 to check out how the Volvo trailers look here in Europe. So let's set the time here. 6 a.m. Train Sim World 2, yes, we will for sure in the future. Just not sure when. Yes, but yes, those are coming. All right, let's try it. Hey, Space Hunter, glad you made it, man. How's it been? Now we have those guys. There we go. Uh -huh. We don't have anything in Lisbon. We have one in Evora. Ooh, yeah, we haven't explored uh, Iberia in a while. Let's make Scotsman envious. That guy. That's actually not a low bed, is it? A low loader. Or is it? Cool, but yes, we can take that. Evora. Iberia win, exactly. 
Okay, we have quick travel option there. That's good. Appreciate that, Moose. That is great to hear, man. Thanks for the kind words. Glad you are enjoying them. And glad you thanks for joining the stream. Bringing other friends too. Volvo with lights. Take it. Very nice paint job by Silly Panda. I'll be checking out the one in the future. The the newer one. Here we have, we're using automatic. Super crunchy, giving me goosebumps, tingles. Volvo sounds from Z mod. Alan and Rex. Sleeping away. When the train simulator come out with the bear, yeah. Feels strange being in European roads again. Guy let Alan gets around for a lazy cat, yeah. And just carry him, he just stays asleep. <laughs> Regardless. so nice though I haven't been driving in ETS2 in a while but uh, I must say I do miss these sounds and the visuals this Volvo FH is beautiful new jeans and uh, updated unofficially by Mondo M if I remember correctly oh come on don't do this to me thank you oh 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 no way the nerve <laughs> squeezing in use quick travel option to go to the garage oh yeah f7 works too should be working manila driving yeah that's how we drive in manila you give way to one guy you don't give way to the next guy come on that's just abuse right there <laughs> you've been a nice guy already i shouldn't abuse your generosity Let's have a look. Oh, interesting. Okay. You actually have different low bed options in here. You have one with that kind of ramp at the back. Different number of axles. Oh man, don't tell me these are steerable axles. These are the absolute worst for me. Steerable axles like this. You have one that's like this. It doesn't feel right. Looks too small. That one looks cool. I think I like this one, the low loader. Yeah. Might work with the red one. Evora to Madrid. Take it. New Volvo DLC fits perfectly with the new Volvo trailers DLCs for today. Hey Deso, didn't quite get that, but uh, I think I got it somehow, a bit. Volvo truck with the Volvo trailer, is that what we mean? I like it. I'm getting that insane CP utilization. Mm. I have to look into that. Are you guys seeing any stutters? Not uh, as long as it's not too dramatic, it should be okay. Might not be 60, but should be still smooth overall. This is one thing that I don't like though, and I'm not sure how to fix it. The field of view on the mirrors seem too narrow. I haven't seen that a lot. Too narrow that it actually is almost impossible to reverse just using the mirrors. And I already tried removing the true mirror FOV, but it still doesn't, it still has the same look. Not sure if it's a bug on Eugene's truck. Something that I should set up. Maybe that one works. 
is that one okay yeah it feels so weird it's warping it's like the opposite yeah it really too narrow fov i think yeah that's way off way off <laughs> me <laughs> sound like scotsman now <laughs> goodness you guys getting this too in your revolvos so hard to reverse using the mirror okay how about that weird look at that i don't even see a trailer from that side Canyon new truck coming next, really? What, what, where? Who, what, where? Looking good. MAN TGX 2020, yes, please. That new TGX looks so good. Oh, yeah, I saw the building pop up, pop in again here. Looks like it's in ETS2 as well wonder what they changed yes I'm using a mirror FOV mod but I tried removing it already and it's not affecting the mirrors here at all yeah see I can't even see the trailer if it's straight oh I only see it when we're turning like this very weird hey space hunter I mean ETS2, whole VNL in ATS sounds good to me, I hope so. In ETS everything pops in. Building, tree, road, truck you're driving, <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. Overall the the models are less refined, right? A bit more old school. the side mirrors it's impossible to know which direction you're driving yeah okay, looking good I just don't have to rely on them too much yeah ETS is just older it's harder to make it uh, to update everything I would say that being said they've done a good job at trying to update everything but of course some things get left behind on SCS side on pro mod side on other mod side it's always the problem making new stuff is easier than updating the old stuff making sure they're not causing any problems or causing any inefficiencies that being said what we have right now here it's great but yeah i won't be using an own trailer here in ets2 that's also one reason i didn't buy the trailer from zmod as much as i want to support him i don't like using own trailers in ets2 because they make my game stutter and we've tested that right very weird bug but it's there still don't have a an explanation for it only a theory using a traffic mode seems a lot of traffic i am not i haven't used one in a while but uh, that's a good point one second let's check maybe the actual traffic setting is increased it's only one yeah I'm not using maybe it's in the city maybe the city just piled up or maybe that's also an update from SES side maybe they up the traffic maybe that's also the cause of the increased CPU usage I'm seeing oh one second I almost forgot well actually I forgot about it I could have enabled the early autumn mod already, right? What we can do is we can drive one here and then we can think about changing to early autumn for the next drive. We'll see if that works. 
my favorite season is autumn granted I barely get that <laughs> I only get that when I'm traveling but yeah so far that is the most scenic for me is the other one an auto pass lane should have gone there huh Amazing sounds from Z. You know, so this is where the debate started, isn't it? Some of our folks in the community don't like it so much because it's too detailed. Because in a European truck, the insulation should be better. So it should be more muffled, more subdued than this. I personally like it, but yes, I'm on the other camp when it comes to that topic. <laughs> I like it the way it is. Very nice. Sunrise. I was using green light racers traffic mode. Yeah, I heard good things about it. As he was testing it for quite some time. I haven't used any traffic mod in in a while since we started the season 2 of ETS2 that, that was way back earlier in this year I think right because um, I found it just made the problems worse for traff for AI it showed their true colors more <laughs> their uh, weird um, merging technique and all the other quirks they have it appears more when you have more of them on the road so I try to limit them on my end. Yeah, Grimes. Daniel Shanavin, no, I haven't tried it yet. Is it working with Wyoming now? Is there an ETS2 version for it? Maybe you should try that out too. Traffic for ETS2. One for default, one compatible for Chrome, Chrome mods. Oh, those are different files. Interesting. Uh, yeah, he's also in our community, right? I remember he was uh, opening it up for us to uh, beta test before he even released it. It's cool. Traffic mod is pretty lightweight. It's great to hear. Hey, Kevs. Thanks for joining man, how are you? Yeah, that was Panda doing the testing. Thanks for testing it out. For sure you had a lot of uh, a lot to do with the refinements that we see now from that mod. Yeah, to be honest though I haven't tried it yet. Because I just try and stay away from all traffic mods because of uh, previous bad experience. traffic doesn't it doesn't there removes old cars from the game well Alex won't like that <laughs> Daniel random event is updated for a young Mayumi and there's ETS2 version nice maybe we can test it out on the next uh, ride next delivery also helped a bit art nice great teamwork there hey okay, this looks like a nice photo like this area very cozy hope a lambo passes you is that available uh, in in the entire europe or did he limit that in specific countries ah volvo Super cool. Volvo on a Volvo. No tiltage though. Hey, there's 
drive safely. Oh, is that very rare? The Lambo? Okay. Point it out to me if I miss it. What's the speed limit here? I also have that bug. Well, not bug, but a mod conflict most like that my speed limit mod isn't working anymore. I remember we were discussing it in the channel in Discord. Crossing over to Spain now? Not sure if anyone managed to troubleshoot what the cause was. Even if you put the speed limit mod above in the load order, it still doesn't work. So it looks like maybe this one, maybe this UG instruct conflicts with it or something. Not sure. Hey, Grey Dog! Glad you made the stream, man. How's it going? Bad Tahos. Very nice signs. Are these SES default? I like the different colors in the signs. Looks pretty real. Like that. I remember we had the re-signing project. I'm not sure if it was updated yet though. So I've been been I had been, don't have it installed at the moment. Small roads in Russia. Oh, traffic, traffic. Oh, very nice. Merging logic from AI. A bit aggressive, but he made it work. Very nice, actually. I think they improved the merging logic. Check a bit. Improved. Uh, just more made it aggressive. In some, some instances, it works. In some instances, they smash into you. <laughs> it's kind of a hit or miss. Pop in on the mountains. I also have to be very wary of the roads. I can't just stick to speed limit here. There are some sharp bends here in Iberia. The Eugene mod is overwriting the GPS screen. Ah, which is conflicting with the phone GPS. So it shouldn't be happening. I don't understand it either. The same file isn't getting overwritten. But I guess one of the files somewhere is changing the paths. So it's not getting to this place anymore where the speed limit mod should be taking place. Maybe the pathing becomes different with UG instruct. That's what I'm thinking. What is God Koval? Is that Swedish or something? Hey Christopher, glad you made the stream. Thanks for joining, man. How have you been? You guys think this is files trees? Or is this from Iberia default? Not so sure. I like it though. It's very nice. In Swedish. Ah, there we go. <laughs> the all I know in Swedish is hey. With a J. <laughs> Just because I see it in IKEA. <laughs> Spanish highways. Look at that fuel consumption, guys. 30. Oh, let's look for the. There should be an average here. 31.6. Hey! Ronky. My bad. Ronky. Let's go back there. So I have a different key assignment in ETS and ATS. The one for computer dashboard here is actually enabling the retarder. There should be an average. There we go. 32.8. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That should improve the longer we stay on the highway. Trees look fail. Good catch. Thank you. Those are file trees. Okay. Thank you. It's nice that they actually updated even Iberia. Huh? I, I, I wasn't aware that he was continuously updating that. Cool. 
because file trees have been there since the beginning right we like what foggy weather days even before foggy weather days you guys remember foggy weather goodness good old days huh we've been trucking for a while huh five years more than five years some people here probably even longer Kirill didn't like file trees, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, even before NL became NL. It was FW before. It's a Eugene truck thing. The phone GPS works with other trucks. I see, I see. Ah, so I may have a deeper look at his files. It is not locked, right? So I, I'll, I'll take a look. I should be able to find something there in one of the links. Yeah, it's probably what happens. I'm imagining there should be like an include GPS that SII somewhere in the original file, but maybe Eugene's doesn't reference that. So the mod I have, which modifies the GPS SII file, is uh, not getting read, and so we're not getting the speed limit here. Something like that, maybe. He created his own tree mod it worked for a bit oh did he i, I don't even remember that part anymore oh yeah it, it, there's like a, a vegetation mod for foggy weather before right yeah and eventually it didn't get updated anymore yes right i wonder how kirill is doing is anyone still in touch with him I hope he's doing okay it seems like he's really, really dropped off the trucking community not just stopped modding second six year anniversary goodness drive safely talk about old school and drive safely is one of uh, the pillars in uh, the trucking community i remember when i first started getting into trucking one of the first mods and must have mods that i enabled and i have been enabling ever since is drive safely sound fixes just uh, can't leave home without it stuff man you thought file trees were too thin oh yes i'm starting to remember yes because kirill knows a lot about the vegetation like he knows the type of trees he knows the type of i don't know the, i don't know what you call them the technical terms for it so he say, he's saying like yeah the tree shouldn't look like this so he made his own yeah starting to remember now and for me as a guy who doesn't know anything about trees except that they're green sometimes the trees look good enough to me they don't look too d they don't look like a sticker sold happy <laughs> yeah but yeah if you look at that yeah they are a bit thin right not too fluffy hey mr peter welcome back <laughs> sorry about that gray dog yeah uh, i am too lazy to update it to ets2 Not sure, Alex, if you know how to, how to make that work. Or maybe Rohan, changing the title or the game name. I think mods should have power for it. Just don't know how to do it using text commands. Just changing the game to ETS2. You can do it. Okay, thanks, Rohan. Thanks, Gray. gas station refilling sound exactly yes that's a classic i didn't even i'm not even familiar with that sound in real life but the moment i heard it years ago when i first started using the sound fixes mode i was like i want that sound <laughs> i don't even know what it meant i mean yeah man because we, we refill cars right uh, but I've never heard that sound before, so that might be what an old school sound, like back in the day, so you know how much you're refilling. That's why there was like that constant tune, was it, or a constant um, beep? Yeah, those things. It's one of those samples where I don't have an idea how realistic or accurate it was, but I just like the sound, so let's go with it. 
Hey, that's not a bad look at all. The the uh, level change in the road. That was a nice one. The bends and the level change. Very smooth, very nice. Kenworth looks good. Is that the CTTM thing? I tried looking into it, Gray. I uh, didn't push through with the Facebook only stuff. <laughs> Apparently, you have to message him in Facebook. Oh my goodness. That's a bit steep. Finds a way to add new sounds with each update. I know, right? So many cool things coming out. That's why it's also always part of my mods list. The ding. Yes, exactly. The ding. Used to hear that all the time. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no, but yes, eh, eh, seriously, what? how do you use that thing? Is that thing time-based? Because I, I think it's, some, it's a way for you to know how full the tank is, right? But how would that... Oh my goodness. Clumsy trucker on the loose here. Oh, it's Jack. For sure it's Jack. No wonder. Mic drop. <laughs> it's time based. Ah, okay, I see. I thought there was like a fancy measuring stick or something. And then it's dinging when it gets half full or something. I see. And then how would you know normally? Is there like a recommendation from the car manufacturer that tells you, oh, if you want to refill full tank, uh, this takes like. I don't know, 30 seconds or something like that. Jack definitely has confirmed. Ah, the needle nose. I see, I see. Yeah, that seems to be one of the classic favorites, right? The needle nose. Looks like a proper classic at that. Rizlak sits with a stick inside the fuel and makes the ding sound. Uh, I think Rizlag just stays away from fuel altogether. Rizlag is allergic to fuel. Might not be Rizlag in there. Very nice classic for sure. Yeah, I've seen a lot of photos from Alex for, from that truck. Looks amazing. Yeah, I like this view. Yeah, I like it when you have this, these very gentle bends. And you have the changing level, so you see more of the landscape. And this is actually very well done. I see minimal pop-ins, right? You see the trees even from far in the distance. This is actually a very nice view I like. And so many things happening on the side there. Countryside vibes and whatnot. Is that a roundabout? No, oh, it's a some kind of junction to merge into the highway. Pretty cool, I like it. Already subscribed to me on YouTube. Nice. Oh, Brut Burakai Nikon A5. Nice. It's great to hear, man. Are you are you Filipino? Peter. It's great. I remember that. His leg runs on Mala. Mala, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, mini pockets. <laughs> yes. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> I think the rest of the guys were just a tad ahead, right? Thanks for joining, though. Appreciate it. You are. Awesome stuff, Peter. Awesome stuff. In regards to you and your dad, thanks for joining the stream. We don't have a lot of Filipinos here, unfortunately. Not yet, at least. Maybe that will change in the future. Glad to have you here. Good morning, Alpha Star. Oh, cover your ears. <laughs> no, we're, we're good, we're good. Z wants Volvo hype. Oh, there we go. Speaking of Volvo, there she goes, Jay. This is in Jay's wheelhouse. Volvo on Volvo. Take it. Good morning. The 
course. Nice. I started playing Diablo 2J. I'm loving it. Loving the nostalgic vibes. The nostalgic vibes plus fully up to date graphics. 120 FPS locked. Although it's actually uh it's actually putting a lot of strain on my GPU. I'm at like 80 to 90 percent on my 3080 in Diablo 2. Imagine that. So yeah, they really up the graphics. They really remade the graphics. And one thing I like, they actually have a button in the character creation screen. If you guys can imagine this, if you don't, even if you don't play Diablo, this is a very nice touch from the developers. In the character creation screen, imagine like when you choose a character, which class you are, a barbarian, a paladin, a sorceress. So all of them are there. And they have this button that you can switch to which shows you how it looked in the original game the legacy mode so you would in the beginning you would see oh they made the exact same thing and then they have this button to show you how it looked really the original game and it would be so different it would be like worlds apart and it's of course a different resolution like 800 by 600 the original thing it's a very nice touch it shows you how much they remade the game it's a very very nice uh, like because if you don't see the old version you'd think the new version is just like the same one like they didn't do anything it's so different very nice touch yeah as I, as I mentioned a while ago I don't normally play old games I don't normally play remakes I I try to keep moving forward it's more my thing but uh, this one is an exception I think I'll be playing it in the weekend. <laughs> so if you guys are around, I might be streaming offline in Discord. We'll see. Yes, we are in ETS too. I am surprised myself. Uh, even here, it looks like we have that sky problem. Hey, what is this? Stadium? Looks great. Kind of ish, but there's a lot of graffiti. Graffiti? Artwork. Maybe under construction still, huh? Lots of barriers in there. Ah, there we go. There we go. Didn't know there were exclamation point <laughs> commands there. Perfect. Thanks, Jay. Oi! Speeding? Why? Oh, 50 here. 50 here? Why? Okay. Maybe because of the sharp bends, huh? We'll know soon enough. Right, we're almost here. Do I play Flight Simulator multiplayer? Yes, I do. Um, I actually do, but I I don't normally have a normal schedule when I'm not streaming. So the best way to fly together is when I'm streaming it every Wednesday, 8 a.m. And when I do that, everyone is welcome to join me uh, to fly together. So if you're interested, you can join during that time. other than that I it depends on my mood it depends on my schedule when I can fly so that's the only fixed schedule that I can commit to but yeah would be happy to have you there Jay to the rescue there you go thanks man you're installing nice yeah I pre-installed it last night and I played it this morning Enjoy. I'm actually a bit scared though. I haven't tried playing multiplayer before, even in the original Diablo 2. At least not with people I don't know. So I'm not sure how the experience will be. I haven't tried it yet. This seems like an uh, awkward lamppost in the middle of the road. Yeah, these guys, right? Seems like they're very prone to getting hit. <laughs> There's no aisle or anything. 
They're just in between the uh, the road signs. I think at least this one has some barriers in there. No, we don't need a code. Driving a Volvo aggressively. Me? Never. <laughs> I never drive aggressively. Oh my goodness, how do we make this fit from this angle? I guess we park here, right? Yeah, XPO Logistics. Yikes, this is going to be a bit tricky. Parking at the back. Yeah, there you go. Let's force it through. Diff lock. How's the situation like? Yeah, probably a low bed. Doesn't work well with curves. Uh. <laughs> if this was a normal trailer, we probably could have made it work. Let's reverse it. Oh, sorry car. That's a bad move from your end. You shouldn't stick too close to me. Do something in here. One sip about wide turns. Uh, yeah, when there's a lamppost right before you make your turn, not the best. Not the best. Now you charge me, okay. Hitting something? Um, yeah, might be hitting that post on that side. Oh, because it's a steerable axle. I hate these guys. I think we are stuck. We might be. Stuck simulator, yes. Yeah, I think that was the best approach. Huh? Occupy the other lane so that we could. Uh, we could make the turn. Well, just a tad too late for me. So close it so far. Oh my goodness. Come on! Oh, we're moving. Or not? Oh! But now, guys. Oh, there we go. We moved, we moved. We can make this work, we can make this work. If I... Maybe... hoping that would push through just let me go we're moving like a millimeter at a time <laughs> come on come on come on we're free nailed it that's how you make a turn guys <laughs> that's textbook turning right there I'm not actually familiar with this place might be the first time I've gone to this place this is in Madrid right first try nailed it exactly <laughs> was tilted help at all yeah tilted is something I can't do in ETS 2 right no tilting happening because I have not unlocked it a few moments in the, later. <laughs> I have not unlocked it in the controls file there's something you have to do in addition to having track IR. Where's the darn thing over there? Okay. Is that 241? I think that's 241 right there. I 
missed someone. Uh, hey, Drew. Thanks for joining, man. How are you doing? We're doing great. I'm nailing this parking. <laughs> I'm nailing this trailer. <laughs> My goodness, I hate these terrible axles. They work so weird. Look at how weird that's moving. Bro. Bro. Looking very good. Need to turn sharper, but ay 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 ay. <laughs> I hate steerable axles. Oh, I just might have. Uh... <laughs> I hate these guys. Who did they crash into now? Okay, let's try that again. Uh, less rage, more finesse. Musa. Musa, this is turning out to be Conan. Shows you how rusty I am. In ETS2. Okay. Let's see if that works. Love the sounds of the brakes. So much air hype. Oh, oh my goodness, that doesn't look good. Sharper, sharper. Come on, let it through. You know that can work. We reverse these things. I've completely forgotten about them. Okay, I guess the, uh, the angle has to be less steep oh. so there's a barrier right there and there's a trailer right beside <laughs> exactly alex i've been staying away from these guys still grow around no i forgot it's a steerable axle trailer or at least i've been trying to forget um Come on. There we go. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Man, I love those sounds though. So crispy. That's the only saving grace here in this catastrophe. Okay. That looks a lot better. A lot better. Stay away from that block. Getting too close. Here we go again. Oh goodness, here we go again. Now turn sharper. Turn sharper. Dang it! <laughs> oh, push it through. Push it through. Nailed it! <laughs> Good luck to the guy taking this out later. Uh, oh my goodness, I hate this. <sighs> that was torture. Perfect! <laughs> oh my goodness. That was the worst. Bro. Mm. That was 68, nice. GG. Like a glove. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly, right, Panda? My question as well. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, we have to get that sorted a bit. Although, I'm not sure if that's something that uh, SES needs to do or the... Well, it, it's just part of SES, so yeah, it should be still in Iberia. Look how much undiscovered roads I have. No, I think many of the other discovered roads I have in the other profile. The profile with no map mods. 
Okay, so what do you guys want to do? I'm going to stick in ETS2. Uh, we can download some mods. We have uh, we have 40 minutes, so we can do a short job. 200, 300 kilometers, I guess. We can download, for example, the auto mod. We can download the uh, Daniel's Random Events. Switch to ATS. Let me know if you prefer something specific. A special transport. We can, but there is no... Uh, there is no Volvo in there. We checked a while ago um, for special transport, at least in ATS2, or in ATS rather. There is no Volvo special transport that we saw. Yeah. So I'm not very keen on a special transport at the moment. It doesn't show anything new. <laughs> Number one for bad parking. <laughs> I'll take it. For science <laughs> I'm going to get scolded alpha star right I am going to get scolded all right so ETS or ATS it's just stick there you guys prefer <clears throat> so if we stick with ETS 2 I can start a job in Madrid go somewhere wherever uh, the freight leads us if you go with ATS, we start wherever we ended the last time, the last part. Mm. Let's see if we have Volvo stuff here. Ah, uh, no, we don't have it here. Okay. Not a lot of these guys, huh? Let's see. What is that? Hey, that's interesting. Whoa! will be finished next week. That looks pretty cool though. Excavator Volvo EW240EMH. Okay. I want to take a look at that, the trailer listing at least. Hey KD. Good luck with the exams, man. Thank you for dropping by. Appreciate it. Ah, special transport in Spain. Yeah, true, true. Yes, I haven't done any special transports in a while. I haven't done any in Wyoming either. Low loader. Is it the low loader? An excavator. I think it's this guy. Not really. Uh, maybe a different trailer. I wanted to see what that thing in front was. Was it the low bed maybe? It is this guy. Oh, I see. My goodness. Isn't that the, the UFO thingy? The <laughs> really cool what is it used for yeah probably used the end of this guy huh for picking stuff up pretty cool but in the other load we don't have that excavator uh, oh it's this guy yeah this one not really exactly the same yeah it's a different attachment actually EW240E the other one is a uh, W240E MH. Hmm, okay. Right. It's math today. There are lots of uses with math. Enjoy it. Yes. You're enjoying the Volvo sounds. Okay, we can stay here. I'm okay with that. Good morning. What? Yeah. If you don't uh, keep it realistic, you get scolded. You know what? Let's keep it realistic. So what we can do is something like... I don't want to take that load, but we won't be able to finish it. One second. Let's go and look for something that has some... Okay, one second, huh? Okay. Um, if we look for that... Do we have that exact load somewhere? No, I don't think so. I have to go to Burgos to get it. Okay, maybe we just take it and then we just drive however far we can towards it. But I wanted to change my setup as well. Yeah, setup because yeah, it's not really built for heavy cargo. We'll get scolded that way. 
So let's go in the quick travel to Burgos. Yes. Hey, Corl. Doing good, man. Doing good. Let me cut this here for the recording at least. One second, huh? Don't worry, we're still here. Just for part three. <laughs> 